On this day, 14 months ago, a six year old boy was killed in Hattiesburg after a shooting that rocked the community. Police say they've run down every lead and they need your help getting justice for the family left behind. WDAM 7's Michael Clark talked with the child's great grandmother and the assistant police chief about the emotional case and how it's still impacting this family today. Jakivri Silas should be finishing up the first grade at Rowan Elementary School. He was just my world, you know. But his great grandmother, Roberta Fairman, is getting ready for her second summer without her sunshine. As me and him had talked about so many things, you know, that we was going to try to accomplish, you know, like him playing basketball, football. The six year old child was killed in February of last year when someone fired into the family's home on Willis Avenue. The Kyra was living with me at the time it happened and everything. And um, it's just hard. The little boy and his five year old cousin royalty had just gone into the living room to eat a snack before the shooting. Other family members inside say it happened in an instant. Me, myself, I just felt, I just felt hopeless, you know, because I couldn't do nothing to try to help save him. Loved ones rushed to call for help, not only for Jakairi, but his cousin Royalty, who was also shot. Her injuries were so severe, she lost her eye. I want justice for both of them, not just Jakairi, Royalty, you know, because they life, this didn't have to happen to them. They are young and they had a whole life ahead of them. The wheels of justice often turn slowly. Usually what we find with um, criminals is they, they talk. But Assistant Police Chief Hardy Sims says in this case, the wheels haven't been turning much at all lately. So we do have people who, who have called and gave us leads, but we have followed those leads. Uh, and we have exhausted those leads and we need uh, some fresh information. After the shooting, police released a photo of a blue vehicle that may have been in the area. We asked investigators if they're still looking for that car. Well, we know that there was uh, at the time a vehicle in the area and it's still a possibility. We're still looking at those leads. Detectives know someone saw something that night that can help, but they're also aware there's a fear of speaking up. Sometimes on the streets, you know, they, they got the saying snitches get stitches, but that's not necessarily the case because we got mechanisms in place to where you can call anonymously, you can call Crime Stoppers. Sims says he believes neighbors have a civic duty to speak up to keep their community safe. The silence, though, has been deafening for Jakairi's family. Not knowing is hard. I wish they'll come forward. You know, they ain't got to say nothing to me. They ain't got to say nothing to my daughter or my granddaughter. Take it to the police. Roberta Fairman still helps care for royalty and the other children in her extended family. They've moved from the home where their lives changed forever, but she knows Jakairi is still with them. The lights go out, the TV go out, or the doors open. I just tell him, Jakairi, come on in the house. When stuff like that happens, I just feel that it's him. I pray to him to tend to keep watching over us. We all just miss him. Well, if you know anything that can help, call Hattiesburg Police or Crime Stoppers at 601-528-STOP.